What's up guys? So today we're gonna to talk about how to edit your green screen footage with your iMovie. Let's go. Uh, so the first thing I wanna mention is um, when you're importing your footage or when you're actually taking your green screen footage, uh, the first thing you want to avoid doing, having your background be all wrinkly and you wanna to try to get it as, as clean as possible. I, for, as an example, I purposely messed this up so that you could see the difference and we could show you what what happens if your if your backgrounds all wrinkly the second thing you want to make sure that you avoid is uh, basically the shadows you want to get rid of all the shadows in your background because if you have shadows on that on that green screen what's going to happen is it's going to affect you when you, you go ahead and edit it so a good rule of thumb is maybe stay away like five feet away do a little test make sure that there's no shadows behind your uh, your green screen so and then you could go ahead and use like an umbrella light like I have in, in there. You'll see there's like a little umbrella light. And what you want to do is kind of try to backlight your green screen as much as possible so it stays all one color. And at the same time, you're probably going to need some uh, some light on yourself as well. So you want to try to get that green screen as clean as possible so that you don't have no issues when you're editing. So those are the things that you need to look out for before you go ahead and start editing. Now let's dive right in and let's show you guys a little bit of the editing process using the iMovie. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our footage. And I have already imported some of the footage in here. I'm going to give you three different examples. You've got to make sure is that your green screen footage is on top, overlaying the bottom footage. So we'll start with this first one here. If you double click on it, you're going to come up with this window right here. And you'll see it says cutaway, split screen, picture in picture. You're going to go and click on green screen. Okay, and immediately you'll start seeing the results. Another thing you can do here is you could crop the image. Uh, it's already set to crop. And there's also an eraser. Um, the crop factor, if you want to do that, you can crop it. So if your green screen is only, um, you know, you want to get some of the background out, you would crop it like this. Just drag and drop. Okay, so for uh, our purpose, we're not going to do that. So we'll go ahead and reset that. We'll double click here, we'll click on green screen, and automatically you'll see. Uh, this is already starting to work, okay? Now, another thing is, is you'll notice here is there's these white edges and you'll have a, a tool here called softness and you can soften up those edges uh, with this. It's not going to work that great on this footage, but I'll show you on the next one. Uh, so you could use this as well, all right? So if you notice here, this is what it will look like if you have a footage like this and a lot of times you want to overlay a green screen say like on a computer or an image like this where it's already set for you so this is how you would do that all right so our next footage here you'll notice here is that i'm standing next to a green screen there's an umbrella light there and you're going to notice that there's shadows and so if we go ahead and do this to this right here go ahead and click on blue screen Automatically, you'll start seeing all these shadows and all these folds that are inside the, the actual cloth. So what we're going to do is, um, if you notice, we can click on soft. We could actually do that, and, and that actually kind of helps out a little bit. Uh, but what, what we could also do is use this eraser tool. To do this, we're going to click on the eraser tool, and we could just uh, left click. And you'll notice that as we drag down, we're getting rid of some of that color. And we could clean up our image. So if you um, right click, I'm sorry, left click and drag down, you'll notice that it'll get rid of some of that footage. You'll be able to clean it up a little bit. And what we could do here now is we could soften that up a little bit as well. And you could clean it up that way. Okay, so that's another option that you have with doing this. Now, if you notice here, it's all black. You guys should do it on this, you'll be able to tell it better. Uh, and then you can use a soften tool to kind of get it even more detailed down. All right, so that's how we do a footage like that. And lastly, I want to show you this footage because this footage right here, also, it's on a white screen, right? But the background is completely white. So we could actually do the same concept on this as well. So we'll go ahead and click on the blue screen here, or the green screen, and 
you'll notice right away it starts to kind of get all distorted. Um, but if we take this eraser tool and we immediately, you'll start to see a, um, a difference where it's, it removes the whole white. And we can use a softening tool to kind of even out those, those edges. And it's not gonna be the perfect, but depending on your image and depending on what you, you know, what you have for footage, um, you can also do that as well. Okay, so those are the three ways that you can basically use the green screen. It's a very simple process in iMovie. All right, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.